Navigating the doldrums. Understanding low spirits in language. Hello, everyone. Welcome back to our channel, where we dive deep into the fascinating world of English language learning. Today, we're exploring an intriguing phrase that you might have come across, in the doldrums. This expression is rich in meaning and history, and understanding it can add a new layer to your language skills. So, let's set sail on this linguistic journey and discover what it truly means to be in the doldrums. The phrase, in the doldrums, has a nautical origin. Historically, the doldrums is a maritime term referring to a part of the ocean near the equator characterized by unpredictable weather and calm winds. Sailors often found their ships stalled in this region, making it difficult to move forward. This sense of stagnation and inactivity is where the metaphorical use of the phrase stems from. When someone says they're in the doldrums, they're not talking about being lost at sea. Instead, they're expressing a feeling of depression, stagnation, or a slump. It's used to describe a state where one feels listless, unmotivated, or downhearted. The term captures the essence of being stuck in a phase of inactivity or gloom, much like the ships stranded in the calm waters of the doldrums. Let's look at how to use this phrase in everyday conversations and writing. Saying, I've been in the doldrums ever since I lost my job, conveys a deep sense of idleness or despondency. Or, the team has been in the doldrums after their continuous losses, illustrates not just a losing streak, but also a demoralized state. This phrase is a powerful way to articulate a specific kind of emotional or motivational low. Interestingly, talking about being in the doldrums also invites the question of how to escape this state. Just as sailors would eagerly await a change in wind to propel them forward, we too can look for or create changes that help us move out of our low spirits. Whether it's through seeking new experiences, engaging in uplifting activities, or simply changing our routine, there are ways to navigate out of the doldrums. Thank you for joining us on this exploratory voyage through the meaning and usage of in the doldrums. We hope this video has illuminated not just the definition, but also the rich maritime history behind this expressive phrase. Remember, language is not just about words, it's about the stories and emotions they convey. If you've ever found yourself in the doldrums, know that there's always a way to catch a new wind. Until next time, Keep learning and exploring the depths of the English language.